Now, a polynomial in one variable is generally an expression which is denoted with Pn of x. A polynomial in one variable is generally denoted by Pn of x and it is defined as an algebraic expression which consists of the constants and variables in this form. So this is how we define a polynomial in one variable x consisting of n plus 1 terms in this. So this polynomial in one single variable with each of the constants a0, a1, a2 and a3 till an make a defined polynomial in one variable where a0, a1, a2 till a n are called real coefficients because for a polynomial to be defined the coefficients cannot be complex. I cannot have i x or 3 i plus 4 i x square etc because an imaginary numbers or the complex numbers do not come into existence. The restriction of a definition of a polynomial is that each of the constants are called real coefficients. <coughs> And in this case, a n is not equal to 0, is how we understand. Because if a n is equal to 0, then I have the whole of this polynomial reducing by 1 degree. That is, this is called a polynomial of degree n. Of degree n, that is, the degree decides that a n is not equal to 0. If a n is equal to 0, the whole of the x power n vanishes and then the highest power here is n minus 1. Therefore, this cannot be a polynomial of degree n minus 1 because degree of a polynomial is the highest power to which the polynomial is raised, is how we understand. So therefore, let us understand this to be a polynomial of degree n where each are real coefficients and th there are certain things I need to note here. The first thing is each power of x as I see here for 1, 2, 3, 4 till n are all non-negative integers but they are not fractions. Each power of x in each term of p n x are is a non-negative integer. The powers cannot be negative or cannot be fractions is how I understand the first point. And secondly, I understand that a naught is the only term independent of x. Each of the terms are having x in its term. That is, if I take the second term, I have x in this. If I take the second last term, I have x in this. But the speciality of the first term is that it is a constant term. It is the only term independent of x. And hence, this is called the constant term is how we understand the constant term. So these are the different structures through which we define a polynomial in single variable x. So let us recap with how we define a polynomial in single variable x. A polynomial generally denoted by p and x is written in the form a0 plus a1x plus a2x square so on till a x power n is called a polynomial of degree n because the highest power of this is n then where each of the coefficients a0, a1, a2 until a n are called real coefficients and then a n is not equal to 0. Together make a polynomial of degree n. Let us see some example problems and identify whether the given, the given algebraic expression 
is a polynomial or not a polynomial. If it is a polynomial, we also need to identify the degree of that polynomial. So let's see some example problems. Now, to start with some example problems, I have Now this is an algebraic expression, so let's identify if this is a polynomial. So clearly, the first indication is that I check for each of the powers of x. If they are integers, non-negative integers, then I say the given expression is a polynomial. And then also I check for the coefficients being real. So in this case, each of the coefficients are real and each of the powers are non-negative integers. Therefore, this is a polynomial of degree 3 because the highest power is 3. Say I take one more example where now let's check if this is a polynomial. Now clearly I see that each of the coefficients are real and the powers are non-negative but in this case it is a negative integral power. Therefore this is the case where it fails and then the given polynomial, the given algebraic expression is not a polynomial because the powers cannot be non-negative, cannot be negative integers is how we understand this in its own manner. So therefore the question of discussing about degree of this algebraic expression doesn't arise because this is not a polynomial. Let's see one more example. Now this is with all real coefficients except here which is not a real coefficient. Therefore, this i being an imaginary or complex number doesn't satisfy the real coefficients. Though the powers are all integral powers or non-negative integral powers, this is the case where the given algebraic expression fails to be a polynomial. So let's see one more. Now this also is not an algebraic expression because is not uh, this algebraic expression is also not a polynomial because I have all non-negative powers though the coefficients are real. Therefore these non-negative, these being fractional powers doesn't make this to be a polynomial is how we understand. Therefore as we start progressing discussing about different example problems we identify that there are some algebraic expressions which are polynomials but there are some algebraic expressions which are not polynomials based on two important definitions that the coefficients must be real and the powers of the variable must be non-negative integers are the two cases through which we identify the given algebraic expression to be a polynomial and hence its degree. The degree of a polynomial is the highest power to which the given polynomials are raised. In this case, the highest power is 3 and hence for this polynomial degree is 3 or a cubic polynomial. 